people. In early July, Pike County Sheriff Charles Reeder appeared in court five days after a grand jury indicted him on 16 charges, including eight felonies. This just released court filing outlines the case against Reeder. After getting an anonymous tip, police served a search warrant on Reeder's office in December. Although unrelated to the Pike County massacre, this case carries even more significance because the search came just a month after Reeder helped state investigators arrest members of the Wagner family in connection with the murders of eight members of the Roden family. According to a special investigator for the state, police searched a safe in the sheriff's office and discovered it was empty. During that search, Reeder said his wife threatened to divorce him over his gambling. He went on to say he started gambling more during the Roden homicide investigation when he was staying up late at night and couldn't sleep. The special investigator notes Reeder's losses at a horse track in Columbus were piling up, going from $595 in 2016 to more than $11,000 last year. The day after police searched Reeder's office, the sheriff's attorney requested a meeting with investigators. This case summary says the attorney handed over a file provided by Reeder. It was filled with evidence bags containing cash, money seized during drug cases that should have been in the safe in Reeder's office. A sheriff's captain who originally counted one of the bags of money with $6,000 inside reviewed these black and white photos. This is a shot of the captain during the initial money count showing folded banknotes. This photo shows the money Reeder handed over. The captain noted the bills looked like they came from a bank and kept repeating he stole the money. Charles Reeder is suspended from his job as sheriff. He has pleaded not guilty. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.